Hi, my name is Bavik and I'm the managing partner here at Critical Square. Welcome to another episode of Common Questions, Awesome Answers. What do you want to be when you grow up? Do you remember that question? It always had such an awesome answer when you were a child, didn't it? Fighter pilot, astronaut, firefighter. But now that you're a bit older, how's that turned out for you? Are you maybe doing something you don't love? Maybe you don't hate it, but you're kind of bored. Maybe you're just done growing and now you're just going through the motions. Or maybe you're in an industry or a function you could live without. Whatever it is that has you checking your watch waiting for happy hour, an MBA is a great way to shake things up. For a lot of people, an MBA is a much needed career at your sketch, and for others, it's a slight realignment. Whatever it is, you're going to have to communicate your career goals to the admissions committees. But talking about your career goals is really difficult, and done incorrectly can sink your applications. So we're going to talk about the two things to keep in mind as you draft and communicate those goals. The first thing is your goals need to be ambitious. Now, before we go further, relax. Ambitious doesn't mean you need to be the first entrepreneur to the moon or that you need to launch the world's next big NGO in Africa. You don't have to change the world for the goal to be ambitious. Even a goal like getting into consulting can be ambitious. Maybe you come from IT and you're trying to get into strategy consulting. Well, it's going to be pretty difficult and it'll take a lot of hard work and elbow grease. No one's going to just give you that job. You're going to have to work for it. And that means it's an ambitious goal. But it can't be too safe. Admissions committees want future leaders that are going to do big things. And big things mean good things for the brand. They want applicants with drive and vision. They want applicants that are interested in varied functions and industries, and they want you to be passionate about whatever it is you're talking about. They want you to get out of bed for the rest of your career wanting to go big. A top MBA isn't really interested in the next middle manager. But remember, that doesn't mean you need to found the next Facebook either. So, we just talked about making your goals ambitious, but it's this part, making your goals realistic, that trips up most of the applicants out there. Y'all don't have to try too hard to make them ambitious, but making sure they make sense can be a challenge. There are three main things admissions committees are trying to figure out when they look at your career goals and determine if they are or are not realistic. First, do you understand what their career entails? Are you saying you want to go into consulting because you want broad-based industry and functional experience? Well, that's already a strike against you because that shows a fairly cursory understanding of how consulting actually works. Secondly, is this specific MBA program in school right for you uh, and what you want to do? If you want to go to Wall Street, Columbia is probably a bit better suited than, than Duke. Lastly, have people from your background been successful in doing what you want to do? Just because a school says they put a bunch of students into a particular function or company, doesn't mean everyone has the same chances either. Remember, good career goals are balanced. They're ambitious, but realistic. They're aggressive, but achievable. And no matter what your career goals are, whether you're looking to make a slight course correction or you're shaking things up completely, make sure your goals are well researched. So thanks for watching. If you want more free tips, tricks, videos, blog posts, head over to our website, follow us on Twitter, and like us on Facebook. We'll see you next time, and good luck with your applications.